Finally, we are making it to the operation side of things. This is going to be step number one. So you're gonna go over to kraken.com. You're gonna click sign up and you're gonna get a little portal like this. You put in your email, password, pretty simple. Your state and province. I was gonna note this though, for state and province, if you're in New York, you're gonna have to use Gemini or Coinbase. I'm sure you can do this step-by-step -step process on your own, but you're gonna go over to a dashboard that looks something like this, web GUI, and there's gonna be a verify your identity button. Make sure to do that because that's your KYC. If you make money in markets, then you need to pay taxes on that. So once you're in here, you verify your identity. It's gonna be with the front and back of your license, your social security number, and once you're done with all that, then you're gonna click this little button right here and you're gonna go click payment methods. You can either put your bank account and routing number or you can do your debit or credit card. Both work the same, it's just that if you have your bank account, then you can purchase in larger denominations. If you have debit card, then whatever you can do. I think it's up to $5,000, something in that range. For a bank account, it might be like 15 grand. But again, I'm just starting with a small amount with you guys. And then once everything is verified, it should take no longer than five minutes. All you're gonna do is click buy. Select an asset, Solana, Ethereum, Avalanche, ones that have a chain that are attached. I'm gonna be walking everybody through the Solana ecosystem. So this is just happens to be one of the faster networks and cheapest. So I, I like if you're going to be doing transfers on Ethereum, it could cost anywhere between six, seven, eight dollars to do a transfer. And it costs a hundredth of a penny on Solana. So I'm not going to have I'm not going to be bringing people through the ecosystem with doing that. So you're going to click on Solana and it's going to say pay with because you already put in your debit or credit card information there. And then you click 100 and click purchase. That simple. And then step number two, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your, basically your Google Chrome extension wallet. But that's it, super simple, super easy.